We're gonna have a lot of cable. It can be more than you would expect that we would have in this building. Wow. Okay. This will probably be double or triple what you would have in a typical office space with all the AV and all the other equipment that we're planning. I'm Kaylin Rothhouse, and that's me, and my first building project, and my first power lunch. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a designer. And now here I am, creating functional and fabulous spaces. This is my client, Mark Alfieri, founder and chairman of Brandstar, and that's Carmen, his chief operating officer. They've asked me to take this building and turn it into a modern and efficient workspace. It's going to be a challenge, but in the end, the new space will be functional and most definitely be fabulous. Last week, we installed some critical pieces of furniture. We customized a reception desk in stone, which helped create a grand sense of arrival. We also created a space for the social digital team that's movable, modular, and flexible. We added a splash of color to the work environment and even our own signature scent. Plus, I designed a special spot to show off all of Brandstar's accomplishments. This week on Office Spaces, I have an entire mess of cabling to sort out. I have low voltage, high voltage, fiber, Cat6, I don't know, a whole bunch of mess of cabling. And it's really important that all these different cables connect to our technology. So I'm really grateful that IT Director Adam Brown from Brandstar is here to help me organize all of these cables. So all these cables will be using in different areas throughout the office. Uh, the fiber optic cables we'll be using to run uh, from the IT room to all of the screens throughout the building for mm -hmm. that high definition video. Uh, the CAT6 cabling we'll be using for all of the computers and the PCs for their connectivity. Adam was really trying to impress me today with all of his knowledge about cabling. But my design challenge has always been to build an office space that incorporated state-of-the-art technology. So if you had to guess how many linear feet of cabling we're going to have in this building, what would you say? From my calculations, we will have a lot of cabling. If you didn't even calculate it. The cables are the backbone of all of the equipment that we're going to be putting into this office. Uh, you can have all the great equipment that you need, but you have to be able to get the signals, get the power, get the data to all of these different devices. I'm really glad you're here to help me because we have so much amazing technology that we have to get working and functional for the end users. It's all part of Mark Alfieri's vision for Brandstar. And Adam and I are excited to get started in connecting all this technology in the office space. Off, for this high-tech space, my design challenge was to make sure we had a safe and secure building. I wanted a security system to be mounted to the exterior of the building, with access control and security cameras monitoring each entrance, as well as security cameras throughout the interior monitoring all entry and exit ways. That's when I ran across Fernando Esteban from Access Communications. Axis is the world leader in network video surveillance. They invented the network camera, driving the shift from analog to digital video surveillance. So Fernando had a wide offering of security cameras to choose from. Well, after looking at your project, and definitely this is a very interesting application um, for our products. This camera is perfect because it's not intrusive. It's a very small camera that you can even paint, and it's going to blend into the office design. This is, the, this is the perfect camera to protect up to 1,000 square feet with a 360 degree, so it's a panorama camera. So for the outdoor, we're gonna be using the outdoor version of these cameras. So you can see out on the back, simply come up with one cable and remotely we will be able to control the zoom and the, and the angle. Where do you recommend that these go? Well, uh, again, after the, looking at the blueprints and we have a, a digital blueprint over here, the cameras that I already show you, we're going to install them in these particular areas. So the smallest cameras that are non-intrusive, we're going to put them here on the blue light and the light blue areas. Uh, with a little mo more angle of protection is going to be this ones, which is the M3006. Well, for the main doors and people walking in, 
with different light conditions, we're gonna use the P3384 and the P3364. These cameras are the ones with wide dynamic range, dynamic contrast, etc. For the outdoors, we're gonna have the P14 cameras. These cameras have 24 hour surveillance with IR illuminators. It looks like we'll have perfect coverage. We have all the areas. Uh, we'll even have great nighttime coverage for the outside. I can't wait to have this all installed. It's not only for today, but also for the future. All these cameras also have the functionality to add more software in the future. Uh, we call them ACAP or analytics that run inside the camera, just like the iPhone or the smartphone. You can put a sm special small uh, pieces of software inside of it. And it works in conjunction with the Milestone software that we also recommending on the Husky servers. So with Access providing the security cameras and network door controllers needed for Access, along with a company called Milestone providing the monitoring software, we're ready to get started with the installation. This chat 20 years ago was impossible. Back in the days, you needed to run one cable for power, one for the video, another one for audio, and even another one for any type of uh, intrusive or tampering control. Today, it's so easy. Just simply go with a cable, and this is a low voltage cable. That's important because you don't need a license. But with a single cable, which is the network cable that everybody is very uh, familiar with, so you simply plug it in into the network, you attach the camera to the wall, and all of a sudden you have an instant security system. Now everything can be done with a single camera. We have cameras that can protect up to uh, a thousand square feet with a single camera and all this intelligence built in. So we're using Access and Milestone for our access control and the security cameras. Uh, access is providing us the security cameras themselves and the brains for the access control, allowing the employees in and out during certain time ranges. And Milestone is the software that does the recording for the security cameras. So we'll be able to play back uh, footage if there's any events that we want to, to play back on. The Milestone product is so great that they could just ship us their recording device and we could program the cameras in. If we had any issues, they can just remotely support us. They don't actually have to come on site to do any of the work. They can remotely log in, help us out with what we need help with, and we're good to go. Now, with Access Network cameras installed on the exterior and interior of the building, all managed by Milestone Intelligence software and fingerprint readers at each entrance controlled by Access Network door controllers, I think we're well on our way to a safe, secure environment, not only for our employees, but also for all the high-tech equipment inside. We're now able to monitor who comes in the building, when they come in the building. We can set up schedules. Uh, we were able to tie it into a fingerprint reader biometric system so we don't have cards that we need to be getting back from employees or people forgetting codes. Uh, we're able to just enroll their fingerprint, turn them off, turn them on whenever we want to. Uh, with the uh, access cameras, again, another installation that went super smoothly. Uh, they were able to get them all up and running within a day uh, and then programmed into the Milestone software so we could do the uh, recording and playback if we ever needed to. We're also going to be able to protect today, the office of today, but also the office of the future. So upgradable down the line? They are upgradable. We can add more intelligence in the future and we're going to be also uh, scalable, let's call it. And it's going to be scalable, flexible and upgradable. And in conjunction with Milestone, we're going to be able to make it even more intelligent in the future with more small ACAPs. Uh, overall, the building is a much safer place with these technologies. Uh, we have better control of who's coming in the building and when they're coming in. And we have the ability to uh, have a camera footage of the entire building. So it's a much safer building. Well, this is the office of the future, and I love it. I mean, I, I've been uh, looking at all these blueprints and all the ideas, but we need to protect not only the technology and the expensive technology that we have here, uh, also the information that is being developed, uh, and also people. So all this new technology and all the advanced features can, uh, can catch up with all the new threats that we see in the world. So protecting people, protecting the, the assets, are very important and the new technology that we are presenting today with all the future proof and, and when I say future proof it's because all these products and all the intelligence and all the um, partnerships that we are bringing can grow to do more things in the future. There's another important aspect of communication that needs to be addressed in this office space and that's cell phone coverage. In the old office building, cell phone coverage was spotty at best, and employees often had to walk down hallways and get close to windows in order to even find a signal. 
Cell phone coverage is really bad in this building. The best I can do is usually one bar. In our old building, cell phone coverage was horrible. Uh, no matter what floor you're on, we had zero cell service. And in the business th these days, you're running around, everyone's calling you on your cell phone trying to locate you, and we never had the coverage to actually be able to get a hold of people. I'm busy running around, and if I can't use this, and I only have one bar and I can't get reception, it's really tough to get my job done. We rely on these things, these devices, so much. These smartphones have become an extension of our lives, and when they don't work, it's, it's frustrating. It seems the more energy efficient you become in a building, the more problems you could have with cell phone coverage. And that's where Tariq Bayad from Advanced RF Technologies comes in to help with its system of amplifiers and cell phone repeaters. Once Kalen approached us, the first step was to get inside of the building and see how well the signal penetrates. The venue has a pretty common problem where the, the cellular coverage outside the building is pretty good. However, due to the materials that are used to build this building, uh, the concrete, the glass and whatnot, it has caused the cellular coverage to weaken. Solving this problem means climbing to the roof, where Wiring.com and ADRF will install a large antenna. So the solution to this problem is the SDR, that's a software-defined repeater. The device takes the weak cell phone signal that's coming from the cell sites, and it amplifies that to provide more even, more fuller coverage inside the building. The end result? Cell phone use throughout the office space with a full cell signal from nearly any provider. It's the kind of reliable communication needed to keep a high-tech office buzzing. Leviton's home security and automation products. The smart and affordable way to update your home with state-of-the-art safety and security protection. Whether you're using a Leviton OmniTouch in-wall touchscreen, a tablet, or a smartphone, there is guaranteed total control over your home with zero monthly fees from Leviton. Screen visitors and allow them to enter remotely. Camera surveillance and access control make keeping a watchful eye around the home easier than ever. When you're away, stay informed with instant notifications. Leviton's home security and automation systems can be programmed to send alerts when someone has accessed your home. On vacation, the system can provide passive security, simulating a lived-in look. Experience your home come to life. Scenes can automatically disarm security features, unlock entryways, and illuminate your home's interior and exterior lighting. Rest easy knowing your home is equipped with a fire and smoke warning system, which includes safety features not found in all security systems. The system can be set up to instantly notify first responders, illuminate your home automatically, sound verbal warnings, and stop air circulation to prevent the spread of smoke. Leviton's home security and automation products offer a comprehensive solution, providing hundreds of smart ideas for every application. When it comes to home security and automation, Leviton has you covered. Wiring.com has been with us on this project, pulling miles and miles of cables and wires, but it all needs to converge at some point. So my design plan included an IT room, the brain of the technology. So I once again turn to John Kolodny from Wiring.com. So the challenge that we have is with convergence, everything being put into the IT room now with smart intelligent buildings, how much can we really squeeze into that small space and not only make it functional for move-in day, but make it functional for 10 years down the road. That's when Adam brought in Tom Cabral from Chatsworth Products, a 25-year-old company that specializes in cable management and racks to store all this technology. So this is the brain center of our entire building. All the equipment in here 
Talk to me about convergence and how all that's playing a role in today's field. So everything's coming down to one. You have voice, video, and data all in one room now. Now we have to be able to, su to support that so you see the products that we have to support all of that. This is the nervous center of your whole building right here and we are the bones to that nervous center. So we, there's a rack behind which everything is mounted on is our rack. Then you have your horizontal cable managers and then you have your vertical cable managers. Well, cable management is, is in paramount because there's a couple things going on in this rack. One, if you have to do an add, move, and change, you have somebody out in the desktop that needs to move to a different desktop, how are you gonna find that cable if, you do, if you're not managing it great? The second thing that's gonna come up is heat and heat is a big problem these days. And in or if you can keep your cables dressed in nicely, keep it away from your server fans, you can exhaust that heat out a lot quicker. It's the cable management and heat control needed to keep all of this office space technology integrated and working together. And as per my IT room design, Chatsworth is providing the infrastructure to support it. It looks great, first of all. Second of all, it's very functional. It's very well thought out, done neatly and organized. This is gonna serve you for years to come. It's one thing to have all this cool technology on display in these boardrooms and office spaces. Technology that's user-friendly, with multiple state-of-the-art displays. But it's quite another thing to make sure it all works when you press a button. That's where the right cable comes in. Jason from Complete Integrated Technology has been our integration specialist throughout the installation of high-tech equipment in this office space. And he knows the importance of using only the highest quality cables. When making the entire system user-friendly, the cables are very important because if one cable fails, then the entire solution just it will not work. So it was very important that we got high quality cables from them and everything worked and we were able to put it all together. So that's when we turned to Gavin Downey of Monoprice to help us out. They're a one-stop shop for every cable required in this project. If the technology works, chances are there's a Monoprice cable hidden behind the wall that's making it work. We actually are quite happy when uh, a cable sort of disappears to the end user. Um, we want everything to work seamlessly, and if our cables are doing their job, um, the person doesn't really think about the cable. Here at Brandstar, there's a, a beautiful array of displays all throughout the building, and the content, the, the quality of the content is very high. And in order to get everything that is possible from the displays and from the content, and to make that seamless for people, you need high quality connectivity. What I especially liked about Monoprice was that they understood my design vision to create a workspace where more can be done with less if the right technology is used. We love uh, teams of people and customers and integrators that care a lot about technology. Everything that she's doing in terms of um, like sound baffling and lighting, we love those types of opportunities because that's just where our brand fit. For Monoprice, it meant providing a different cable of different lengths for nearly every space in the building. This project, it was pretty complex in the realms of cabling. We had many different lengths all over the place and cables in every single room here. Every office got HDMIs. We got the social media room, which had um, at least 20 TVs with 30 different lengths of HDMI cables, not including the rack. So we had cables everywhere in this building. It's really not a one-size-fits-all. So you really have to understand um, the location and how everything's going to be used. You could say Monoprice connects all the different vendors of technology together. In the end, everything works, but you don't see what makes it work. So everything has to be seamless and it has to be in the background. We have to empower the people that work in this room to do their jobs and not to think about technology. And only the best technology enables that to really move into the background and empower people to do their job. Gunnery Sergeant Arlie Yermy is at it once again. You know, one of you guys could probably do this by yourself. I do think that you could probably pick up the pace a little bit. Supporting our men and women in uniform. Be our ally on this joint operation as we transform this Florida house for a deserving military veteran and his family. Addy! Come on, Art, that's attention. Trying, okay? You'd never make it, Marine. I am trying. Don't miss a brand new military makeover series. Hoorah!
in your kitchen. Innovation Cabinetry, affordable luxury for life. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We're designing spaces. We take on DIY projects, get creative with interior design, and get with the pros on remodeling and home improvement. I can see myself living here, I really can. As technology has progressed, so has the future of architecture and design. Here at Vimtrek, we have combined 3D modeling, BIM data, and Unity technology to revolutionize the market by providing a fully immersive, easy to navigate, interactive 3D model that allows you to explore your newly designed space. These environments are easily shared, which allows for collaboration, reduces change orders and building costs, and helps promote a green and lean building process. Immerse yourself and experience the latest technology in architecture and design at Vimtrek. Designed a space with multiple ways to view content, from video walls and TV screens to computer screens and smart boards. My design challenge was to find a way to display the same picture and message on all of the multiple screens at Brandstar. That's when I came across Bob Michaels, the CEO of ZV. The company started on the basis that we could take a video from a computer and move it out to all the TVs, such as an office complex or a sports bar, and you want to distribute video to many, many screens over long distances around that location, you could come to us. Ultimately, we have the ability to distribute broadcast quality video from a source over significantly long distances to really an unlimited number of televisions throughout any premise. So ZV actually allows us to program and create our own video network throughout the building. This allows us to display customized messaging on every video board. In corporations today, a large part of the task at hand is keeping people informed. Okay? And, and, and people are tied to their devices, people are tied to their video screen, whether it be a monitor, whether it be a television, getting information to those people. So part of our task and part of our solution here is to be able to bring television or to bring video or information out to those people seamlessly and inexpensively. Looking at the technology that's in this building today, I have to say that there are very few corporate locations that I've been in that, that have the technology in use, 4K, distributed throughout the facility to all the employees. I would say the facility is in a league of its own. In order to carry those high resolution images and graphics in 4K, it requires a much higher end cable, specifically a fiber optic solution. That's when we brought aboard Robert Diodario from Clearline Technology Group. His company specializes in fiber optic technology. Uh, with Kalen's design, uh, we saw the, a, a very advanced technology infrastructure that was required, and especially for video production. You need the highest resolution distributed throughout the entire building. The Really, the only solution at that point is, um, in essence, providing a fiber infrastructure to do that. We can provide a fiber product that, that anyone can install. Our fiber is easier, more durable than any other product on the market, including category cable, and is easier to terminate and be trained or learn how to terminate. And uh, the hardware component has, has definitely come in line with, with copper solutions. Fiber uh, in general uh, is very fragile. It's glass. Our fiber is still glass at its core. But because it's coated in a polymer, the fiber doesn't erode over time, which allows us to have a much longer life expectancy. So with these fiber optic cables that are long lasting and easy to install, we should be able to keep the high resolution imagery on prominent display at Brandstar for a long, long time.
Gunnery Sergeant Arlie Yermy is at it once again. You know, one of you guys could probably do this by yourself. I do think that you could probably pick up the pace a little bit. Supporting our men and women in uniform. Be our ally on this joint operation as we transform this Florida house for a deserving military veteran and his family. Eddie! Come on, Art, that's attention. Trying, okay? You'd never make it, Marine. I am trying. Don't miss a brand new military makeover series. Hoorah! Using Kalen's design intent, everything came together perfectly. All the technology is working as expected. Employees will be able to come in, just use everything. It's, uh, it's great to finally see everything put together. We kept all of our technology partners very busy this week. It was all about design and functionality for a high-tech workspace. We were able to integrate all the different vendors together as we tied all of this interactive technology back to the IT room. This means a fiber optic solution that will keep the high resolution imagery on prominent display. Plus, we added advanced technology for video surveillance and cell phone coverage. In the end, you won't see what makes everything work. The vision is we took a warehouse and we've, we've turned it into a state-of-the-art, technology-advanced environment. And that puts us on the cutting edge, which will attract cutting-edge workers to come work in our space because it's all there. Everything they need is in one location. Coming up on the next Office Spaces, we will be adding state-of-the-art building management software to control the airflow and energy inside this building. We will also install some of the latest communication advancements to help Brandstar employees be seen and heard. Can you wait five more minutes? Five more minutes. I'm sorry, I know. Five more.